Big shout out to Averitt for sponsoring today's video. They were kind enough and sent me their cordless impact wrench. Inside the case we have two batteries, the battery charger, the gun itself. We have a bag that has two pins and an o-ring, four lug sockets, an adapter. The adapter is for these right here. You have two Torx bits, two Phillips, and two flatheads. Today though, we're going to focus on using this 19. We need to hop in the bag here. We need the o-ring and the little pin. What we need to do first, we need to take this O-ring and slide it over top of the socket. We're going to take the socket, we're going to line it up with the hole. There we go. Then we're going to take this small pin, we're going to put the small pin inside the hole there, and then we're going to slide this O-ring down so that it blocks the pin from falling out. Like that. Then we can take a battery. We're ready to go. There we go. In today's video, I'm going to be installing our vinyls blue 3M caliper wrap on my 2022 Honda Civic. You can install this on any car, any truck. Any SUV, it doesn't matter. This isn't your normal vinyl wrap. It's a little bit thicker than usual, plus it's reflective. It comes in many different colors, so whatever you would need for your application, they should have it. I'll leave a link to this and the Averitt lug gun in the description below. The first thing I'm gonna do is I need to clean the caliper really good because if I don't, it's just gonna come right off. And to do that, I'm gonna use some brake clean. Now remember, this is my first time wrapping anything. Doesn't look that good. But yet it doesn't look that bad either. So don't roast me too bad in the comments section. Pretty globbed up up top here. Coming down through here on this edge, wrapping it around, it folded in on itself. Coming down here, I didn't have enough in certain spots. I did have to piece it together a little bit with some of the parts that I had already cut out. And honestly, you probably won't notice it with the wheel on. I think I know how I'm gonna do it moving forward though. I'm gonna cut out sections of these. So for the front one, I'm gonna cut out a big square section for the bigger piece of the caliper. And then I'm gonna cut some longer sections for the skinnier pieces of the caliper. Now the rear caliper is a bit different and I think it's actually gonna be much harder. I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get the wheel off. This is what I was talking about. Now I don't know too much about calipers, but I think these are springs and I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to leave them alone. In fact, the only piece I'm going to wrap is this piece right here. This section and this section, I think I'm going to leave alone.
with the left rear, it didn't turn out nearly as bad as I thought it would. I mean, right in here, it's clumped up just a little bit. Actually, not that bad. I'm actually surprised. Getting around these springs was a little hard. Obviously, you can see I couldn't get underneath there. Got a little bit underneath there. All in all, though, doesn't look too bad. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this was my first wrapping attempt ever. And honestly, for me, and how intricate those calipers are, it turned out pretty good. I was supposed to leave it in the shop overnight, at least something over 50 degrees. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I have to take it home. So we'll see how it holds up. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Helps me out a lot. Now I want to see what it looks like in the dark at night with light bouncing off of it. Because just looking at it, walking back and forth off the lighting in the shop here, looks pretty cool.